Jay-Z. You like Jay-Z, I think. Probably. Pass to Corey Violet. Right on the what a pass, Violet. One hand on the alley-oop. I don't want to hear Twista. I, I said I want to hear 50 Cent. Step down low to Mallet. They have not missed. Morrison all alone. The fastest rap forever. The what? Morrison feet. Bank head lays it in. Down low to Great look by Violet. Boys the man. That's what Leon and I no, used to listen to. That's, that's totally that's, true. Yeah. yeah. The Gonzaga Bulldogs win their fourth consecutive West Coast Conference Championship. We're going to be number one, baby. All of a sudden, they're supposed to win. We ain't even supposed to be here. Leave it. Leave it. God. We don't win this game. Our dreams are shattered. That's the team right there, baby. That's the purest approach to the game is that you come to the ballpark as a member of the team. Ready to play. Coach Two's right, this is our year. Let's go. All right. Hey, seniors, don't let anybody slack tonight. Showtime. Best, one of the best post players in the country, right here. Feeding a high low. You think it's smart? You're a smart kid, coach's kid, that you would run over to this side. I don't say sorry, apologize to your teammates for not knowing the first play we put in at the start of the year. Put that in in October. Well, this is a huge week for us. Uh, back when we started the season, I think the staff envisioned this road trip probably being, you know, the toughest one of the bunch. Get your body into them and protect the ball. Don't screw around with it, just go by them. There you go to bring home another league championship. We're gonna have to go win it on the road this weekend. We're gonna go down once again to buildings that have never been full, that are our full because we're coming into town. I just got sick of my hair being long, so I just cut it off and, uh, you know, it had been a while since I had my head this short. Then I uh, got to practice today and saw Derek always has his short and then Morrison has shaved it before, but I don't know, maybe they, maybe they idolized me or something. <laughs> Did you, you guys lose a bet? Oh, you didn't lose, you didn't lose a bet? You know, Corey, for a while, I think he thought his game wasn't going well, so I told him to shave his head, and he copied me. You know, a guy that was struggling with the gals as much as you have been, to, to do that to yourself, <laughs> now you, you, you're just putting... I didn't struggle with the... I didn't struggle with Pinning all the odds against yourself all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm over at a buddy's house, and, uh... Fed me up or whatever. I got a good haircut, and then uh, they tried messing with me, so they wrote my name in the top of my head. So then I had to just shave it all off. How's the back of your head? You got one of those big nasty knots or anything back there, or is it all right? It is it's it's all right. <laughs> Schmiegel does. Schmiegel. <laughs> <A rat tail. laughs> yeah. Run. 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 We're going to stop by to get something to eat. Because we, we leave for town tomorrow. We got two road games on the way. We're going on seven months on the 21st. So uh, it's, been, it's been working out good. Tony's one of my best friends. And you know, Nicole, she's really cool. And that's her sister. So it's working out well. We got engaged uh, the 5th of November uh, this past year. So yeah, it's going, it's going real good. We're trying to wait till I get done with school basketball and everything, see where I'm going to end up at. She's still got to finish her college degree, a four-year degree, so we're trying to see where I end up at, and then after we get that settled, then we're going to find out exactly when we're going to get married and everything. He'll be the best man. He'll be the best man. She's seen her at a party, and uh, my friend Tony's kind of shy, and he was scared to talk to her, so I did a duty <laughs> for him of talking to her, which worked out fine, and, you know, ever since then, they've been going, you know, it's been working well. I've never seen Earl play basketball until this year, and <laughs> he shocks me. He shocks me. Baseline and throws down a huge left-handed dunk. I enjoy every one of his games, but last game, he came out of his shell. It <laughs> showed me something different. And That's going to go down. He'll get away. And Earl throws down the dunk. Holy cow. God bless me with some, uh, to jumping ability, which I, I bless him for. So. <laughs> December 31st, New Year's Eve, I got hurt. I broke my right hand in the uh, Eastern Washington game. 
then uh, Earl stepped in. He, he kept he kept us going, kept us you know, kept us doing what we need to do. And uh, luckily, I got I got to play again this last weekend. But I mean, it's it's been good to get back on the court, but it's it's still hard to see. I'm glad he's he's taking my starting spot, but you know, I, I still want to start, <laughs> so it's hard. <laughs> But I mean, as long as we winning, it's it's fine with me. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying we trying to get to the final four and whatever it takes. Shot rejected by Tony you know, we, we got a good record. We only lost two two games to the two you know top three teams in the nation. So we're just trying to keep going forward. Richard Fox quoted the best when he said, "I don't want to lose my last college game." I mean, so that that says it all. We're gonna go watch a young man named Josh Heitfeld. We uh, signed him in the fall. Six ten. Great hands, shoots it well, very skilled, very athletic. He's probably as high uh, potential as we've ever brought into the uh, uh, program. And he just happens to be from in this area here. Highly recruited, recruited by pretty much every school in the country. This is probably the best recruiting class we've signed. You know, between location, facilities, or winning tradition, success, uh, I think winning tradition and success would be the one you'd want. And we've been in the top 20 now for the last five, going on six years. And we're putting kids in to the NBA now. And, and, and that's all high school kids want to do. They want to play on a winning program that's going to go to the NCAA tournament. They want national exposure on ESPN. And, you know, they want to prepare themselves for the next level. And, and our program's doing that. Next year, we lose Corey, who's just one of the toughest big men in the country. And, and you lose Richard, who's just been the consummate team guy. And Blake, and you lose all those guys that know how to do it, how to get it done on a nightly basis. But we've signed three tremendous freshmen, and we were on them when we recruited them. Said, hey, you know, you're coming into a situation where we're going to expect a lot out of you right away. I don't think we're going anywhere with who we have coming in. Earl Knight, he's only a sophomore. We have three freshmen, Derek, Sean, and Adam. I mean, they get a C right in front of them how to win, how to be a leader, how to be a senior, how to be a veteran. And the thing we've always seen in the guys that have been through the program is a tremendous jump from their freshman year to sophomore year. And that's what we have to have is those four guys provide huge leadership and they've been through it already. You know, reports of our demise are usually greatly exaggerated. Go ahead and underestimate us. I mean, teams have done that before and I think we know what happens. Enter the Capital One Slam Dunk Sweepstakes on ESPN.com and win a chance to be a celebrity judge at the College Slam Dunk Championships. Capital One, what's in your wallet? I was going to watch Platoon. It's supposed to be a really good movie. I've never actually seen the whole thing. I learned about war and stuff. As you can see, I'll show you this uh, board game we were playing last night. Axis and Allies, we, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty intense board game. And nobody actually won because we had a argument over the rules, so and my attempts to take over the world were definitely uh, denied by the USA, but that's right, I'll get them next time. Road wins are the, are the biggest, you know, the biggest thing about winning a league championship is, you know, we, we play great at home, but you know, sometimes on the road is tough in imposing environments, but you got to get used to that and, and definitely, uh, you know, do, do a good job on the road if you want to win a lot of games. So my roommates, give me no love, park right behind me. Look at this. Make me make me come out through the yard. They're nice guys, though. Can't complain too much. To be, you know, be ranked in the top 10 and, and 19 and 2, I think, is what we are. You know, it's definitely going to be, you know, one of my best memories of, a, you know, any basketball season I've ever had. I think you have to sit back and, and realize, you know, I only have three more home games, you know, in the kennel, which has been such an incredible place to play, you know, for four years. I definitely, you know, no regrets in my decision to come here and play basketball. You know, I've had a great four years. You know, hopefully we'll, and we'll have a good run in the tournament and see what we can do there. Hopefully it'll, you know, it'll end up, uh, you know, on a good note. Uh, so we'll watch 10 to 15, 16 hours of tape on, on a team and then try to squeeze that into maybe four 20-minute sessions with the guys. We've played both these teams already, so it starts with those tapes, um, and then, you know, all the games that they've played since then. Uh, you know, today we've got 
probably four or five hours airports, planes, buses. We're able to maximize that and, and break down tape and even sit with the players sometimes and, and show them specific things that, uh, that we see uh, on the tape. And that used to be time that you, you, know, you couldn't use uh, as far as video was concerned. So that's been really valuable for us. And tonight, um, we'll get together with the players and show them a specific clips of each, you know, like our zone offense, our man offense, our zone defense, their zone defense. And so that's really beneficial. Day starts a little earlier for me than most guys. Most guys are in bed. I'm up trying to get his blood sugar regulated and whatnot, so I'm gonna go to the diner and uh, get something to eat. Gotta start watching my blood sugars. Game starts earlier for me on a regular basis, so yeah, this is the beginning of my day. I try to eat cereal, because that's what I usually have at the cafeteria. It's good to keep the same routine for diabetes, like on game days and stuff, you know, I'll do the same thing. That's why I eat the same meals every time. I have type one or juvenile diabetes since I'm so young. I got it when I was eighth grade, I think, at the end of the eighth grade year, and you know, I lost a lot of weight and had to go to the hospital and stuff, so that wasn't good. But luckily I found out early enough or you know, so from a blood sugar standpoint, like what what can I eat, what can I do, and how much can I do and whatnot. That was the easy part. The mental part was the worst. Always remember and take your shots and check your blood and then you know, wondering. When, well, how much can I do on a mental level? That's almost scarier than the physical, because you know your body, but sometimes you second guess yourself and you wonder, well, if I do this too hard, what's gonna happen? But, you know, overall it's been pretty good for me, you know, from that standpoint. Some kids aren't as lucky, you know, so. But it kills a lot of people more than cancer and I think AIDS do. From a political standpoint, there should be more money involved in, you know, trying to find a cure. But from a medical standpoint, it's not that hard of a disease to control, you know, if you just stay on top of it. Prick my finger, comes a little blood, put it in, wait five seconds. 227, a little bit high. So I take my number, minus by 120, divide by 50 times it by two, then I get a number, and that's how many units of insulin I'll take extra. I mean, everybody has insulin in your body, like your pancreas, you know, you probably know that, but for some reason, mine doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, I need to take shots. Oh, so you take insulin to bring it down and you eat to bring it up? Yeah, and you take insulin to keep it level, too. For instance, you're, if we check your blood sugar right now, it'd probably be like 90 to 120. And that's normal, that's what I want to get. So if it's high, I want to get to that level. If it's low, that's when I'll eat. But, you know, I'm not eating because I, I'm low. I'm eating because I'm a normal human that's hungry and that needs food, too, so. He's got a lot of pride, and, you know, he doesn't want people to just know him because he's diabetic. He's such a competitive person. He wants his basketball to be what people know him for first. But what I've tried to talk to him about, and I think he's becoming more aware of it, is he could be a great spokesperson and a role model for all the young kids out there. I mean, he's playing Division One basketball, I mean, which is so difficult to earn a Division One scholarship. He's playing at a top 10 program. Uh, you know, he's scoring in big games. He had 20 against Stanford. He is just a walking, talking example for kids that you don't have to change your life even if you do get diagnosed with this disease. Well, good breakfast, I guess. Uh, heading back, take a shower, sit around, wait till films, and then Probably like 12 or 1, try to get a sandwich somewhere, go to shoot around, go to films, come back and uh, keep checking throughout the day, try to stay regulated, and then uh, have a steak two hours and 50 minutes before the game. It's a basic day for anybody else, just check your blood sugar a lot. You're watching The Season Weekly, presented by Capital One. I get to listen to 50 Cent. I got you, Coach. Me, right you guys here. want to listen to his main one. No, he's the Twister, Coach. I don't want to hear his Twister. I, I said I want to hear 50 Cent. Twister. Oh. I want a mainline, legitimate artist here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, there's no one artist right now. Twister? Yup. This was what they would call a one-hit wonder. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> ah.
precipice of doing something great. You know what precipice means? Urge. Right, yeah, I don't know. Really really <laughs> right on the edge. Okay, I, let's let's show them that we know we're on that that edge greatness by playing our let's hearts. Do this, man. Let's, let's do this, man. Let's do this. Right out away. Play right 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 away. Championship week. You know the aggressive team always wins, so we got to be the aggressive. Let's One, go. two, three. Dove. <laughs> I'm probably going to eat in like about an hour, two steaks and a uh, baked potato, but right now I'm just having a little salad. It doesn't really affect my blood sugar, so I have a little salad, so I'm not as hungry when I have to wait an hour later than anybody else. So, and Like right now, this looks pretty good, but I'm going to just wait for the you know, nice juicy steak that nobody else gets that I always get, so it all works out. It all evens out, I guess you could say. Got steak, baked potato, butter, and chives. Uh, a bunch of steamed broccoli. They're very well prepared uh, red pepper. Nice presentation there. Step three of the process. Yes. 147. Not bad. Same as always. Same steak I've been eating for three years. Same meal every game day. That was set up by uh, Dr. Hunt, the nutritionist that he worked with in uh, high school. They tried other things and, and they came upon red meat and it seemed to work best for Adam. Would that work best for another diabetic? I don't know. I'll eat this and uh, probably wait 20 or 30 minutes and then check my blood again. And the closer it gets to game time, the, the more I you know, start looking at it. If it's high or low, I'll start doing the proper adjustments and you know, I'll either eat some or take some insulin because it's so important for me to have a normal blood sugar because it affects your ability to play sometimes. So welcome to War Memorial Gym. Tom Hudson with you tonight. The Gonzaga Bulldogs in pursuit of their 13th straight win. They're getting ready to take on the San Francisco Don. Outlet pass, step, step into the front court for the Bulldogs. Stops, shoots the three and hits it. Blake step has the Bulldogs on the board. Step to down low to Violet. Gets it there. Corey, one dribble. Spins to his right. Shoots the jump hook and scores it. Now driving. Throwing up a lot of Violet for the dunk. Banquet feeds down low. Violet. Corey goes up, plays it in. Counted and he's fouled. The right side bank at three point shot on the way. Three point shot good. 19 to 6 is the lead. The Bulldogs are 8 for 8 from the field. They have not missed. Morrison, left corner, pass to Corey Violet, cutting to the basket. Corey scores and he's headed to the free throw line again. Corey Violet is in the double figures for his 13th straight game already. Step bounce in left corner. Morrison, he'll put up a three and hit it. 27 to 8 is our score. Step. Pops to Violet. Violet, one hand on the alley oop, lays it up and in. Side now to Morrison. Morrison to the free throw line. Picks that to Bankhead. Three on the way. Three good. All net for Kyle Bankhead. Ingerson put up a three. His three point shot is good. Game speeds it down low to Riley. Quick jump shot is up. Fast stolen by Ingerson. Ingerson dribbles, throws up a shot from about 60 feet. The Gonzaga Bulldogs got sloppy there for a little bit towards the end, but another impressive first half against the San Francisco Dons. Uh, the Bulldogs on the inbound play get it to Step. Step hits the three, just like that. Step passes down low to Mallon. Mallon spins into the paint. Shot up. Shot is good. Mallon with it, looking down low to Violet, who's wide open. Quickly, the Bulldogs break the press of the pass all the way up the floor to Corey Violet. And the Bulldogs lead to 65 to 42. Corey Violet, 24 points and 10 rebounds. Three on two, he gets to Wiggins. Wiggins shot rejected by Tony Skinner. Rabio comes away with it. The clock winds down, and the Bulldogs win again. They are the fastest team in Gonzaga history to reach 20 wins at 20 and two on the season. Hey, remember, through all the expectations and all the prognostications, and everything you know that everybody expects us to do you need to enjoy you make sure you savor these and enjoy these that's this is going on the road getting after somebody kicking their butt in their own gym that's what it's about and that's what all great teams do and now we we got a chance as early as tomorrow we can clinch our league and get ourselves another league championship banner keep it rolling one two three go Enter the Capital One Slam Dunk Sweepstakes on ESPN.com and win a chance to be a celebrity judge at the College Slam Dunk Championships. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's toast right here for the Zags. Give it up for the Zags. On three. One, two, three. Go! Zags! Go! Zags! Go! 
we started this four years ago, and uh, we started tailgating in all the local California games. Is a group we, we represent, I think, six different states. We, we don't miss any of Kyle's games that we can help in the last two years. We've only missed two games. First sellout in seven years. This building is rocking tonight. And it is time for basketball. Counts it tonight, top of the key, looking down low to Violet. Instead, drives to the left wing, puts up the jumper, count it, and he's fouled. Knight beat the step, step down low to Mallon. What a look, what a finish. And the Bulldogs lead it 11 to 5. Adam will drive right wing, picks up his dribble, needs some help, bounces to Mallon, right elbow. What a pass by Sean Mallon to Corey Violet. Morrison trying to drive around Collins, spins, puts up the jumper on the right wing, and hits it all net for Adam Morrison. Intercepted by Tony Skinner to Bankhead. Bankhead to Morrison all along the other side of the floor. Stay with it, we're getting great shots. Slow down, they can't stop you. They can't stop you. Good ball tipped around, who's got it? Earl Knight had it for a second, still rolling around down there. Knight does get it, flips it out to Bankhead to Morrison. Morrison will put up the three and hit it. You know, score at the half is Gonzaga 39, St. Mary's 25. Okay. We need to show it on the defense. 20 minutes to the West Coast Conference. Hey, the championship. There are no, there are no excuses tonight. Let's go. One, two, three, go. Now to Sanders. Sanders back out to her. Her sets, shoots the three, and hits it. Tyler Her with the first bucket of the second half. No wait for his teammates. Pass left side to her. Wide open, looking at three. It's good. Tyler Her. Bulldogs get it to Blake Step. Step on the run. Step bounces down low to Mallon. Mallon lays it up and in. No look pass. Blake Step to Sean Mallon. Kicks it out to Mallon. 19 seconds to shoot. They go back out to Step to Morrison. Morrison drives into the paint. Gets a shot up and he hits it. Adam Morrison with another bucket. Ties his career high. Step. Trying to drive. Kicks it right side. Skinner. Three point shot on the way. Three point shot. Rattles home for Tony Skinner. Tony's first bucket since his return. Violet with the ball, his team leads 68-55. Violet into the paint, Violet stops, passes down low to Mallon. Great look by Violet, Sean Mallon is there for the finish. Kyle continues to dribble, now passes left side to step, beat down low Morrison. Morrison lays it up and off the glass. Adam Morrison has a new career high. He's got 22 points, and the Gonzaga Bulldogs are indeed going to win their fourth consecutive West Coast Conference Championship. Hey, come here, man. That was as physical and tough a game as we've had. That, that does nothing but help us down the road in the tournament. All right? And I couldn't be prouder. That was a team win, and it was it was a it was a team mental effort and physical effort. You guys got yourself another championship. Yeah, they don't ever get old. Not sharing this one with anybody. Nice Okay, great job, great job, I'm really proud of you guys. One, two, three, go!